the jungles of New Guinea. On the barren shores of the Aleutian. In the tropic heat of the Pacific Islands. In the sub-zero cold of the skies over Germany. In Burma and Iceland, the Philippines and Iran, France, in China and Italy, Americans fighting. Fighting over an area extending seven-eighths of the way around the world. Men from the green hills of New England, the sun-baked plains of the Middle West, the cotton fields of the South, the close-packed streets of Manhattan, Chicago, the teeming factories of Detroit, Los Angeles, the endless stretching distances of the Southwest, men from the hills and from the plains, from the villages and from the cities, bookkeepers, soda jerks, mechanics, college students, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief, doctor, lawyer, merchant, chief, now veteran fighting men. Yet two years ago, many had never fired a gun or seen the ocean or been off the ground. fighting for their country while half a world away from it. Fighting for their country, and for more than their country. Fighting for an idea. The idea bigger than the country. Without the idea, the country might have remained only a wilderness. Without the country, the idea might have remained only a dream.